Hello and welcome back to our Treble D Beach House series. In this video we'll demonstrate how to use the Treble D balustrade. We're working in the building scene, we'll just navigate to the balcony and we're going to run the balustrade and the handrail around here. Now I'll just update the scene so we come back to this view. The balustrade is in the miss and out area. This is it here. So we just grab it at the base and take it over to the deck. I'll just place it down here for a second. You need to spin around and move it over to the wall. So using the move tool, hover over the top, crank it around 90 degrees. Then zoom in and get it sitting nicely in the corner of the deck. Now we slide it along to the wall. We're going to use the follow me tool to extrude the rails. So first we'll make our path of travel. We take the line tool and trace over three edges of the deck. Then we triple click on one line to select all three. Now we go to edit, copy. Now we double click on the balustrade to open up the group. And double click on the top rail to open that up. Now we go to edit and paste in place. The three lines will be copied onto the deck. Now we take the follow me tool and click on the rectangle of the handrail. It's actually been turned inside out so we triple click the handrail, right click and select reverse faces. Now we're going to do the smaller rails. The rails are components. Components are like groups with superpowers. One of which is if we make a copy of a component and change one of them, SketchUp will automatically change all of them. So here we'll double click on one rail and you can see they all become activated. If we paste a path of travel for one, they will all get one. So we go to edit and paste in place, choose the follow me tool and click the square. So we go to edit and paste in place and you can see these multiple paths of travel here. Now we choose the follow me tool and click the square. SketchUp will automatically extrude each rail. Now we just need to remove our path lines. We select one line with multiple clicks and when it highlights we hit delete. And if we delete one they will all get deleted and it's looking good. Now we'll make some new posts. We grab this post at the corner and make a copy using move plus control. Now we select both posts using select plus the shift key and copy them into the end of the balcony. Now before we zoom out, if we type in divide 2, see the bottom right corner, SketchUp will create an extra copy of the posts at the halfway point. SketchUp call this an array. We just delete this post near the door because that would be annoying. And we now need to move our new balustrade to the level 2 layer. So we select it. make a copy, then delete.
then we open up the level 2 layer, go to edit and paste in place. So now if we go to the level 2 scene, our balustrade should be there.